People didn't get to hear about me that much, you know. It was just whispers and be like, you know, there's this guy that doesn't play with his hands. Well, the condition that I have currently is uh, arthrogripe poses. Uh, it's a bone uh, muscle deficiency that the brain didn't tell the muscles to grow. Uh, basically, I have very limited use in my arms and my legs. Uh, they didn't allow me to you know, walk or grab physical things or do anything that's extraneous and with strength or you know, using the muscles inside uh, the arms and legs. Uh, but I had it since I was born, so I couldn't really do much other than, you know, the limited things like rolling around. Uh, I had full use of my neck and my head, so I was able to, you know, talk and meet people at eye level and look around and stuff. My parents um, have been supportive of me playing video games since I was two years old. Uh, they bought me my first NES on my birthday. Uh, my dad was pushing me to play the game and see if I could do it, you know. Seeing their handicapped son, they're not, you know, fully aware what I'm able to do. Rolly scoped yeah, it out and again, got him. Rolly going for a lot of throw setups here. Oh, that's gonna be it. Rolly legs, first game, got it. Me growing up and entering the MGC as, a, you know, a disabled player, you know, it has its bumps here and there, but it's not unwelcoming at all. You know, it's you know, there's always a, a small place for everyone in the community. Whatever game you learn, when I started learning Street Fighter, I learned through people telling me I was nothing, that I would never be good in this game. This and that, it really drove me. Yeah, they were my friends, but I needed that to encourage me to be better. I did always get that look, you know, when I had when someone had to play me. You know, they looked at me and they're like, you know, is this, is this a free win? Is this a buy? And, you know, it, it kind of gave me that drive that, to beat them because I was like, no, you know, I'm here to knock you out. The simplest thing that I tell people when they're dealing with this is make sure you get good because no one's going to treat anyone differently or anyone special if you're just another player that just loses because that's all people see. And that's what I did, you know. I didn't want people's sympathy. I didn't want people's pity when they saw me playing. I wanted them to see, man, this guy's really good. I want to be a good symbol to other players. I want to be something that they can aspire to when they have trouble. Hey, I can't hit this combo. Or maybe I have problems, you know, playing on the right side or the side. I always tell them, like, you know, hey, if I could do it, man, you can do it. And that really resonates with them. And they say, you know what, you're right. You know, I have nothing to complain about because ultimately I want to help and I want to be that light to other people. You know, I, I, I do get those spells here and there where I don't want to, you know, I don't want to deal with anything and, you know, I'm, I, I just feel this emptiness, but, you know, Street Fighter help. Whoa, that was like reflexes. <laughs> It's like the best thing ever when you get a read on somebody. It's like when you know that this guy's gonna jump and you jump before he jumps, it's like the, you know, you can't explain it because you just know that you're inside the opponent's head. Or when I, you know, do an ultra one on a guy that's barely about to throw his fireball. It's like, I knew you were gonna throw a fireball. I knew that you were gonna get punished this way and this is what got me the win. It's just the best thing because it takes so much time to, to do that, you know, to be able to play your opponents and read patterns and see his movements and, and make that educated guess that he's going to do this move at this time and I'm just going to not hesitate. It's, you know, it's what I live for. It's what, how I play and I try to make it in every single match. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for Street Fighter, I, didn't, I don't know where I, you know, I would think I'm just this other, you know, disabled player, another disabled guy, you know, that, that needs help. But when I play Street Fighter, it's like, I want to be the person that, you know, dashes forwards and, and jumps in on people and tries to rush them down. That's my style. Okay, That's the thing that I really enjoy about Street Fighter, is that I'm able to project myself with the character that I play. The doors that have
time open in my life has all be been because of Street Fighter. I've been able to travel to Atlanta or Tennessee, you know, the, meet all these great, wonderful people, you know, in the FTC. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to meet any of them. And so, not having Street Fighter around, man, I don't know. I'd probably still be at home, you know, doing... I don't know.